Who decides when the pandemic is over? Unless you're a time traveler from the past who just arrived here, or you've been hiding under a rock for the past few years, you are more than aware of the COVID-19 pandemic that took over our world by surprise. The pandemic has redefined our society, challenged our healthcare systems to great extents, and changed the way we work and even live. Like many, you may be wondering by now, when will COVID-19 end? And who decides when it's over? Before you start imagining a proud speech announcement, loud worldwide raves, and hugging contests in the streets, you should expect that there will never be a specific date when the COVID-19 pandemic will be announced as officially over. The pandemic will end gradually as countries lift restrictions at different paces and adopt distinct security measures. Experts believe that the end of COVID-19 will not be as straightforward as we think, and that the ending chapter of the pandemic will be felt differently from one person in place to another. They think it will depend greatly on the vaccination rates and any coronavirus variants that may appear in between. The more people will be vaccinated, the fewer COVID-19 cases will be reported, and the less likely people will be to spread it or die from it. Some public health experts and epidemiologists say that SARS-CoV-2, the official name for the coronavirus that caused the COVID-19 disease, will never be completely eliminated in the way other diseases such as smallpox and polio were, while others believe the opposite. But still, the coronavirus pandemic will not end with its complete elimination. What public experts believe is that the current pandemic will reach the state of becoming endemic. In other words, it will become consistently present and may cause a few outbreaks here and there, but it may eventually end up in the way we deal with recurrent diseases such as the seasonal flu. However, this can never be guaranteed. As the world races against time to get as many people vaccinated as possible, experts fear the emergence and the outbreaks of new variants with far worse respiratory issues that could escape the protection of the current vaccines. One thing is sure though, the COVID-19 pandemic will be over when the World Health Organization, or WHO, decides the virus is no longer an emergency of international concern. The WHO has always been in charge of declaring the end of pandemics. On July 5, 2003, the WHO announced that all person-to-person -person transmission of SARS had ceased. In their statement, the WHO said, We do not mark the end of SARS today, but we observe a milestone. The global SARS outbreak has been contained. This means the disease had not been completely eradicated, but rather that the world had reached a safe state to resume normalcy. To date, the WHO has declared only two diseases officially eradicated worldwide. Smallpox, which was declared eradicated in 1980, and Rinderpest, which was declared eradicated in 2011. Experts are working around the clock to develop predictive models of what the future of the COVID-19 pandemic will look like. Their work helps governments and officials decide when and how to lift the pandemic restrictions and what new safety measurements to take. Without a doubt, the COVID-19 pandemic has largely affected the world as we know it. It has claimed the lives of more than 6 million people worldwide, and that number continues to grow. From dealing with the anxiety, the lack of social interactions, the loss of loved ones, and the economic hardships, the impact of the novel coronavirus will resonate with us for a long time to come. What are the things you missed the most before the COVID-19 pandemic started? Did you learn a new skill during your quarantining days? Share your thoughts in the comment section.